Well, Andy Cook, thank you for joining us. First of all, it's the big one on Sunday. First Women's League match of the City Ground. How much you look forward to it? Yeah, we're, we're, we're excited. We're, what, two, three days out now and we just can't wait for the, the game to come round. You know, we're, 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 we've had a, a good week's training. We're just waiting for that, um, you know, preparation time just before when we can get into the changing rooms, we can get things sorted and focused and ready. And yeah, we just can't wait to, can't wait to start the game um, in the City Ground. And you mentioned there, of course, about the preparations. How much are the girls looking forward to this one as well? Yeah, they can't wait. You know, the, the likes of Lindsay Harkin, Katie Middleton, local players, um, been in the club for, for many a year. And yeah, they can't wait to, to play in the city ground. You know, here in the, the, the Mullican Tire as they're walking out, it'll be, you know, hair standing up the back of your neck moment. And, you know, the rest of us that, that, that are a part of the club that are, that are here, we, you know, we've been told, um, you know, how good it'll be and, and how good it'll feel. And yeah, we, we just can't wait to go and, and, and start playing. It's, it's, it's going to be brilliant for, yeah, for everyone involved. And with this being the first women's league fixture here at the City Ground, how important is it for women's football in Nottingham and Nottinghamshire, would you say? I think it's huge. You know, we've talked about it in the club here that it's, it's, it's a celebration of women's football in the East Midlands, really. Um, you know, Notts County obviously had a previous um, really successful women's team in, in the city. Um, and we believe we've got the right people in the right places to, you know, get Nottingham Forest into that position. You know, it's going to be slow progress. It's going to be year on year. Um, you know, hopefully we're in a position come April, May, where we're looking at, you know, that potential promotion this season. Um, but yeah, we're, 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 we're happy with, with, with the progress we're making as a football club and, and ultimately that's the goal of the football club. It's the goal of, of Nottingham Forest women, it's the goal of Nottingham Forest as a whole um, and, and the background, the structure and everything that's in place, is, it, it'll, it'll get us there eventually. And we've spoken of course about the, about the occasion itself, but on the pitch, what kind of game are you expecting against Derby County women? A really, a really close game. Um, I've been involved in three games against Derby and they've always been really tight. You know, I think one goal has, has separated each. Uh, one goal has, yeah, one goal has separated each game. The the previous one, um, last season, we, we it was I think it was one nil up until the last sort of ten minutes. And again, um, it, it's it's always a it's always a close affair. Derby are a, they're a good side. Got some really good players. We know a few of them really well. Um, and we've got to make sure that we're doing everything we can to stop those players because the the they are good footballers. So the fans can expect a a good game from both sides. You know, yes, you know we're at home, but. When we played when we played them at Pride Park, you know we were, um, you know, going there to try and upset things, and they're going to do exactly the same. And if I was in the Derby camp, that's the the messages that I'd be sending across to them. So we know what to expect. We know what we need to do, um, and yeah, it's going to be a really close and tense affair, but one that I'm sure will be enjoyable for any fans that are coming down to watch because it's it's going to be two very good football sides playing. And speaking of the fans that are coming down, we are expecting a, a good number through the gates, and it'll, it'll be hopefully an incredible atmosphere that uh, you guys will be playing in front of as well. Yeah, I think. I think that's the that's that's the that's what the the highlight of the, the game. That's what it's going to be. You know, being able to play in front of, you know, I think it, by by Sunday we're hoping it'll be close to kind of four thousand people and, and four thousand tickets sold. So, you know, if we can if we can get to that number and we can get even higher than that, the atmosphere will be fantastic. You know, I believe it's the the lower Brian Clough that will be open and, and the Peter Taylor stand. So. Yeah, we, we just, you know, it'd be fantastic to have fans both sides. You know, not the noise that they can bring will add to the atmosphere on the pitch. And, you know, it's one of them, you know, you hear the, the, the Steve Cooper and, and, and managers of previous saying that the crowd is, a, is an extra player. And I can guarantee that it will be on Sunday because, you know, we're, you know that 4,000 cheering us on, the players will, you know, will use that as extra motivation and, and, and that little bit of drive when we need it in those, in those key moments. So if the fans can create as much noise as possible, that'd be fantastic for everyone involved. I'm guessing that would be your key message to the fans ahead of the game, just make as much noise as possible and get behind the girls. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, if we can make it as noisy as possible, that'd be fantastic. You know, I think it's, um, yeah, it's one of those, the, the, the noise, the momentum, um, that that can create is is going to be fantastic. So anyone that's coming down, anyone that's coming down, make sure you're as noisy as possible because we love it on the sidelines and on the pitch.